Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Odin's Movie Vlog. I am the critic who is a cynic. Hope we're doing well. And today, my voice is absolute trash, so I just wanted to start off by saying uh, that I'm going to be taking a break from the Monday night live stream, and I'm very sorry about that. I, I hate always having to cancel live streams. Um, for things like this, because obviously I wish that I could just push through it. Um, but for the sake of my voice as a teacher, um, I'm going to take a little bit of a break. But I still wanted to get a video out to you guys because I love talking about news. I love talking about movies. And so this bit of news, though, is got a lot of people talking. And so that is the new Star Wars Rise of the Soy Walker poster uh, accused of using a photograph of a Hot Toys Emperor Palpatine collectible, which, again... Whether or not that's true or not, I think there's a lot of evidence to suggest that that is actually the image that's being used. I think that all of us can at the very least come to the agreement that this image looks awful. And it really comes down to the fact that why does Emperor Palpatine look like CGI? Why does Emperor Palpatine look like a cartoon? As soon as I saw this new poster release, because some people were like saying, oh, it's so cool. All that I saw from this were, okay, these are CGI characters, probably from an actual scene in the movie, but... They've made it look CGI. They've made it look like it's animated. You have an animated-looking <laughs> Palpatine in the background. And all I could think is, okay, so Episode Nine is is animated now? Is it now an animated movie? Is is that what this all is all about? <laughs> like, it just doesn't look good. It just looks so, so childish in a lot of ways. I think that fans could have not only made this, but also could easily have done it better. I I'm sure that there's already fan images of Episode Nine before it's come out from people that aren't even excited for Episode Nine, who don't even have the enthusiasm of love for the upcoming of this film, and yet even they could do more for this poster. Even they could do more for this movie than the people that are getting paid probably thousands of thousands, thousands if not millions of dollars behind the scenes over at Lucasfilm. This 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 poster is trash. Like seriously, like it has a lot of potential. Don't get me wrong. I think if this image actually was taken from the movie where you can tell that it's the actual image itself and they don't try and make it look animated. And if you had maybe an actual real looking Palpatine in the background, maybe then you could have it look cool. But all this does is really just raise that, okay, so you're basically still trying to bank on nostalgia as well. Even if this was done well, even if this was an actual image of Palpatine and didn't look like it was CGI, you could at the very least say, oh, you know what? You're obviously still trying to bank on nostalgia because you've realized that you've messed up. You realize that you are trying to push so many, <laughs> you've pushed so many Star Wars fans away with all of your crap that now all of a sudden, oh, now you care. So now you're going to announce the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Now you're going to say, oh, yeah, Palpatine's going to be in the movie. And obviously that, this started all the way back from Star Wars Celebration. But it truly really is amazing to me that this is the case. But this is what it's all based off of is this image right here. So here's the photograph of the Hot Toys Emperor Palpatine collectible, which actually looks pretty. I will say this much. Kudos to Hot Toys. Because this looks freaking great. Like, seriously, like if, if, if I had looked at this for a second, I would have said, hey, that, that actually looks like a real person. That actually looks real. It's amazing to me that the toy that it's based off of looks more real than the actual image itself because of how they've softened up the features and how they've just made it look even more CGI. It's absolutely incredible. So again, shout out to Hot Toys for making a really cool looking image. But this is the thing that's been uh, put out there is that you have the toy on the right-hand side, moves over, and eventually you see, oh, you see how very similar they are. Now, I think that there's an argument that can be made for one direction or the other, but whether or not this was the actual basis for it or not, because obviously Palpatine has such a unique look that you could probably have a lot of things that look a lot like him. But as I said, either it's a really bad poster, which it is, because just, it, I mean, <laughs> look at it. I didn't realize it was an animated movie. I think most of us were like, eh, I didn't know it was animated either. But at the very least, too, you're just seeing, okay, yeah, so you're still banking on nostalgia here. So Disney Star Wars has done reports. The dimensions of the face in the poster appear to be scrunched up vertically a bit and the width widened horizontally, but that's a match. So apparently people have been doing research in this and say that is indeed a match. YouTuber, Geeks and Gamers, my boy, Jeremy over at Geeks and Gamers, described the poster and its use of a photo of the Hot Toys Emperor Palpatine Deluxe version as a lazy, pathetic attempt at marketing by using a Hot Toys of Palpatine. It's just really bad. It's really bad optics. And I think Lucasfilm needs to be called out for it and I'm going to continue to call them out for it. And again, kudos to Jeremy for that because, I mean, I think that we do need to continue to call out Lucasfilm because... At the end of the day, all they're doing is trying to bang on nostalgia. All they're doing is trying to say, oh, we didn't listen to the fans, but now we're going to try and give the fans some fan service and expect them to just forget about all the nonsense that we've been doing. No, that, that, that's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. You have to show us what you've done for us lately. And if, if all that you've done for us lately is promise us a show on Obi-Wan Kenobi that we've been asking for for years now, and you only gave it because all of a sudden you realize that fans are starting to run away from your new characters, and all of a sudden, oh, maybe Palpatine's coming back for some reason, and it's probably going to be so convoluted that all the fans are going to be like, wait a minute, this is you trying to get us back, and yet you're going to make a convoluted story using Palpatine. It's just ridiculous. It seriously is, but... 
Anyway, as you can tell, my voice is just not holding up. So what are y'all's thoughts on this? Do you think that this is the image that they used? Again, apparently people doing research have said that dimensions match up almost perfectly, just with a few obviously variations from the image. And again, this is the image that was being passed around. Honestly, I think that whether it's true or not, at the end of the day, it's a bad poster. It's a bad poster for multiple reasons. One, it looks animated, it looks CGI, and that's just lazy. More people, again, fans and also people that are being critical. Star Wars fans, you know, I would still call them fans who are still critical of Lucasfilm era, you know, or the, the Disney run Lucasfilm era, will look at this and say, okay, we could even do better than this. Even someone who does not like the movie, does not like the current iteration of the sequel trilogy, could do better than this. It's just sad. It really is lazy, as Jeremy said, and I think he's absolutely right. So let me know your thoughts about this and also why you think they're using this image and also why you think Palpatine's front and center. I think that the reason why is because they're like, oh my gosh, we're out of original characters, so we have to put him front and center. We have to say, hey guys, look, Palpatine's coming back. Isn't that awesome? And oh my God, my voice sounds terrible. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to smash the like button. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a subscribe. It helps me out a lot. You are all amazing and beautiful people. Have a wonderful day. And as always, God bless.